Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to build a single blog page um, with your WordPress website. There's many different ways to do this, but in this video we'll go over using WordPress themes and Elementor. Starting with WordPress, lots of themes already come with a single blog page template and you can preview them as you're browsing through different WordPress themes. Some of them are paid, but lots of good ones are free. Some popular ones will include Neve, which is a super fast, easy, easily customizable multi-purpose theme. Um, it's perfect for blogs, small businesses, startups, agencies, firms, um, e-commerce shops. So if you're using WooCommerce um, storefront as well, it works well, um, as well as any kind of personal por portfolio sites and most sort of types of projects. And Ocean WP is another one that's also good and really lightweight and perfect for any kind of blog or portfolio website. You should be able to find both these themes and all other themes um, in the WordPress directory. So once you go into your dashboard and go into appearance, click into themes and you want to click add new theme. And in the little search bar, if you want to just type in the name of the theme that you're looking for. So for example, if you wanted the Neve theme, you can see it comes up here and we can go into details and see exactly all the features that it has, what it's compatible with. And what you can also do with a lot of these themes is preview it before you actually apply it onto your website. So for example, if you go back to the directory page, and hover over the theme that you're wanting to preview first, click on preview. And you can see the um, theme as applied onto your site. To see what the blog page looks like, just go into one of the blogs and see how the blog page is laid out. And you can see all the image here and the text over in there as well. And you can do this with most themes as well. So if there's another theme um, that you're wanting to see. So for example, um, if you go to this one here, um, all of the themes that you find in the WordPress directory does come with that preview so you can see um, what it's going to be like before you apply it and this kind of sort of saves any hassle of having to revert back if you don't like the styling or if you don't like the um, fonts used or anything like that. Just another thing on the WordPress directory, so obviously if you know the theme name um, you can just search the theme that you want just in the search bar, but you can also go into these little uh, tabs here and you can see some popular themes. If you go into the popular tab, you can see some popular themes as well um, and go have a browse and see which one maybe you'd prefer. Um, not only would, be this, would be, this be good for your single blog pages, but also just as your site as a whole, um, which theme you would kind of prefer to, prefer to use. And all of them, again, just click on preview um, just to see what, what uh, you prefer. And you can see it before actually applying it onto your site. You can also filter between like latest themes. Um, you can favorite some of your themes as well. So you can come back to it maybe if you use another website. Um, and then if you click under the feature filters tab here, um, you can see which you can apply filters for which themes come with these, for example, these features, um, this kind of layout, or for what what subject. Um, so depending on what kind of website or what you're trying to promote on your website, you can pick a subject that kind of applies and then pick a theme that uh, works best for you. Once you've selected a theme, what you want to do is hover over the theme that you want or even click into it and just click install. And it'll start in installing the theme onto your WordPress directory. And once it's finished installing, you can see the tick box here. You just want to click activate to actually activate the, the theme onto your site. Um, this may take a few minutes, but once the theme is activated, the theme will be refreshed and you should see sort of like a welcome message. If not, you can see it in the themes here in, in the theme settings and you should see the theme activated um, onto your site. And any extra themes then you can remove. Um, or keep if you ever want to switch back, but it's really easy to switch back to other themes as well if you wanted to ever go back to the, any of the other themes. Now that you have the theme installed, what you want to do then is create your first blog post and then publish it so that you can see it with the new theme. So what you want to do is navigate to your dashboard again and go into posts and just click add new and just add a post uh, the normal way that you would anyway. So. Just add the title of the blog and then the main body content in here. Within the blog itself, make sure you add some headings and add some images to help break up like long pieces of text. Um, so for example here, if we transform that into a heading 
um, just to help break up the text a little bit. And then just make sure to add all your categories and add any featured image, images that you might need. Um, and then depending on how you want to set up the discussion settings, you can either allow or um, disallow comments or tracks or anything like that. Um, and then once you're done, you just want to click publish and then you can view your, view your blog with the new theme. So if we click view post, and you can see we've got the title, all of our post content here, um, with all of our theme settings as well. Uh, so depending on what theme you use, obviously it's going to look very different. Um, but essentially once you assign, you assign the theme, install, activate it, um, your blog post should then be using the themes uh, theme template. And then that's it. The other way to create a, blog, a single blog template is using the Elementor Pro Builder. Um, and this, unlike the just using the normal kind of WordPress theme templates, um, this gives you a lot more control in terms of styling, exactly how you want to lay out the blog posts um, and things like that. So to get started with that, make sure you have Elementor and Elementor Pro uh, plugin installed um, and make sure all the license and everything is connected. Um, and in terms of theme, so because of the way the builder is, is uh, set up, you don't, you don't need to um, use a specific theme to get the builder working. Essentially the builder will know to kind of apply the single blog template to all of the single blogs. Um, so you can stick with whatever theme that you currently have as long as it's uh, uh, compatible with Elementor. Elementor have their own Hello Elementor theme which is very lightweight, very fast and integrates obviously very easily because they're by the same developers. So um, I would recommend sort of this one but essentially the th the you can also pick any other theme um, that works well with Elementor, including Ocean WP, Astra, things like that. But once you've selected your theme, make sure you activate it. And you can see the theme is now activated. So now what you want to do is go into the Elementor Builder. So if you click on Elementor and Templates, you want to look for the Theme Builder. And the Theme Builder will help you build things like the uh, for header, footer, uh, single product pages if it's a WooCommerce website, um, single uh, post templates, things like that. So what you want to do is click on add new and you want to look for the type of template that you're wanting to add. So in this case you want to add a single post, so click on the plus sign here. Um, and this part um, is interesting and if you have obviously the, the license connected you'll be able to use Elementor's own templates so um, this the template library is the first thing that comes up and what you want to do is select the single post templates they've so got different kind of page templates but if you click on the single post ones it'll show you a few templates that have already been designed and responsive by Elementor um, so if you're ever in a rush if you just want to get a template live um, just for now, while you get, while you spend a bit more time on design or whatever it is, um, you can install sort of a pre-designed template that's already responsive and things like that. Um, or you can click, or you can just build from scratch by yourself. But if you wanted to select one of the template designs, what you want to do is click on the template that you want and just click insert. And you can see, so the entire blog template has been uh, added and you'll see it's using something called dynamic content so essentially it's taking the content it's not um, typing in for example the title here it's not typing in the exact title it's just take it's grabbing the title uh, tag of the of the post so it'll change with every single blog and um, so you got the title here and you've got um, some meta description images things like that uh, even though this is a template what you can do is sort of take bits out or add things in if you realize you actually want um, some changes. So for example, um, so you don't have to use the template as is. For example, the share buttons over here, um, you might decide actually you want them at the bottom of the page. So if you click and drag um, some of the sections and drag it to actually where you want it, um, it's a good way to kind of, um, if you're not wanting to start start from scratch, but you also don't want to just take a, a template design and copy it directly, you can just take an existing template and change it, either change the colors or change um, the layout, add more things, take away some things um, if you wanted to. 
The other thing then is to just build it directly from scratch. So a good blog post template um, will have the title, um, some meta description, a featured image, and actually and the actual uh, blog content, um, and some sh uh, so social sharing and sharing links as well. So to incentivize users to kind of share the post um, and increase the the traffic that way, and maybe some links to uh, other posts. So for example, if we wanted to add maybe like a hero section with a plain background or a image background, we can add a normal section, um, maybe increase the height on that. So if we increase the height, say 400 or uh, 270, and say we'll change the color of that. So if we want to change the background color, just click on the background color and we can either do a solid color or we can do a gradient. So if we do a quick kind of gradient um, with the two colors, and what you can do is you can actually change the um, angle of it. So if you actually want it uh, sideways, you can change it that way and you can change it the colors as well um, and how much of the, each color is being used. Um, and then what you can do then is add the uh, title. So you don't want to add a normal heading and then type the normal title as as normal. What you want to do is go back into the Elementor widgets, look for the single widgets here and look for the one that says post title so it knows to take the post title dynamically um, so we've got title of the blog so that's the name of one of the blogs that we just did and make sure the title tag is set to h1 um, and then from underneath that then you, there's other options you can do so for example if you wanted to add the post info that'll show information like the author date time any comments you can uh, rearrange the order of these or you can uh, get rid of some information that you don't need so for example maybe you don't need the time um, author might be good, um, maybe you don't want the comments in either, and which e which e with each of them um, you can decide if you want to link them or not. So for example, with the author, maybe you want the author displayed but you don't want it to link to other articles that are by this author, so you can just unlink that, um, and that way that's just static, that's not linking to anything, it's just showing who the author is. Um, but you can then just uh, add in all of the uh, blog info here. And then what you can do then is add another box and this is where you'll add your actual blog content. So again, you don't want to add a normal text editor and then type the actual blog that way. You want to just um, look for the single widgets and look for the one that says post content. So this is taking the post content from the WordPress editor and all the content within that. So any images that you have within that, any videos that you have embedded within that, uh, headings, all of that will be sort of embedded here. Um, so you don't need to worry about sort of typing it in uh, again twice or anything um, so so far that looks good and maybe you decide you actually want maybe like a sidebar so what you can do is you can add another column to the right of this and change the width of each of them so for example if we make the co column structure uh, 90 mm, yeah 80 90 or 80 20 um, we've got the columns here and then what you can do then is add uh, a heading here Maybe we'll change it to H6 and rename that to uh, share post or share blog and then add the social sharing widgets. So if you type in social, you, you're looking for the share buttons and not the social icons um, and that way so when someone clicks on one of these links it'll connect them to their own uh, social media account and then they'll be able to post about this blog essentially and link back to your blog um, and I'll mention I have a few options so by default Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn are selected but you can select uh, from all of these so Reddit Pinterest Skype um, all of these even email um, if you want people to be able to email these um, you can decide basically how you want people to be able to share your blog um, and then you can also do things like decide if it's just icon um, how you want it designed, um, the layout of it, things like that, even things like the size, um, you can control um, and you can play around with the column widths as well. If you think the column width uh, is too big or too small on one side, you can just sort of click and drag each comment, column and just make sure it looks exactly how you want it essentially. Um, so we've got a small little sidebar here, we've got the content, um, maybe we'll add um, links to other blogs, so maybe we call it um, read more blogs and this is a good way to keep people on your site and exploring more um, as google track that they track our people sort of clicking around your site and exploring more 
um, and you want that to be as much as possible. Um, so we've got read more blogs and what you want to do is look for the blog listing. Um, so for example, post right here. And this will show you all the posts that you currently have. So we've got two currently, so it's showing two and obviously it needs some styling. Uh, we'll change the column to one, so it only shows one stacked at each other. And maybe just for this, just for the blogs, we'll show three at a time. Um, and you can decide if you want the image on the left, image on the right, or none. Um, and then just the title tags and what the meta description is. I think because it's in a sidebar, we'll just keep it to uh, blog uh, title and maybe the uh, description as well. Um, and then obviously style it the way that you want it to. So we'll go into content and maybe change the um, blog. The And just play around with it and play around with um, how you want it styled um, so that it's obviously showing everything that you want it to show. Um, and one thing that you want to make sure then it's that whenever people are seeing sort of related blogs it's not showing the current blog um, as that kind of ruins the kind of user experience. So what you want to do is exclude by current ID. So every single post um, that you make WordPress will assign it an ID. And when you go into the query tab, what you can do is you can query it to show all of the posts except when the ID is the current ID and the current ID being the one that's currently being viewed. Um, so to do that, you just want to click on query and you want to go into exclude and you want to under exclude by, you want to exclude by current post. Um, as you can see, it's now, so initially it was showing this blog as well and now it's just showing the other blogs. So you wanna make sure you do that just so then it, it feels a bit more professional and it, they can see new blogs rather than seeing the old blogs currently. Um, and then other things you can add are things like the table of contents, which can be useful for blogs that are uh, extremely long. And the way that it works is that it will pick up on all the types of headings that you're using and then it will create its own kind of table of contents. And this can be, again, this is useful for really long blogs. Um, where people can sort of just skim through the list of headings and just either go to where um, they want to go or just read the whole thing. And you can decide sort of where the uh, tags are being picked up. So if you want it to pick up all the tags at the heading twos, heading threes, heading fours, it'll pick up on all of them and create anchor links for all of them. Or if you just want it to pick up on just the H2 tags, just the H3 tags, it'll just pick up on that. So it's very, um, you can restrict it um, or you can just do all of them. But again, this is useful for really, really long blogs um, that kind of take up a lot of space, especially on mobile. It can be difficult for users to navigate. Um, so it might be good to have a table of contents. Um, with that, then you can, uh, you can style it sort of the, the normal way. Um, if you go into header and just reduce maybe like the text size um, and just give it a color as well, um, just makes it easier. And obviously, again, you can sort of rearrange the order and things like that. Um, Elementor is very you know, drag and drop that way. And yeah, just add in all of the sections that you want. Other things you can add then is things like the featured image. So you can just click and drag that uh, to wherever you want the featured image to show. Um, post navigation. So this is essentially uh, next post and previous post arrows. Um, and this kind of just helps people uh, navigate to the next blog essentially. And again, you can style that as normal. And then you can also add post comments at the end. So this is completely up to you if you want post comments. Um, if you want people to be able to post comments on your blog, if not, then I would just remove the comment box entirely. Um, but yeah, once you're done and you've, you're happy with the way everything's laid out, you're happy with the blog, you just want to click on publish. And where do you want to display your template? You want to click add condition and you want to make sure that all posts are selected. So that way you don't need to um, apply the post, ma the template manually to each one. You, it, uh, WordPress automatically knows this template goes for every single post on your blog. And you just click save and close. Um, similarly though, then if you want that uh, post, that template to only show on one particular post, then you would just go into posts and then specifically select a post. Um, so just like that, that way, um, if you had it just like that, then it'll, it will only show that template for that blog. And conversely, then if you were to use the exclu exclude rule, 
um, you can apply the blog to the blog template to all um, to all posts except for a specific one um, if that is ever something that you need to do um, but yeah once you're done you just click save and close and then when you view your blog next time it'll show with um, this uh, layout just like that you can see all of the blogs uh, the new blog then is with this new layout with all the links here as well um, so yeah depending on how much time what your budget is um, and how much control you want over the the blog template using just the normal uh, WordPress themes will be fine um, because they're responsive most of them are lightweight um, and it's really easy to add a blog um, but if you do want a bit more control um, Elementor would be a good way to go because then you can design exactly how you want it um, and add things that maybe aren't available with common WordPress themes.